Hello, Gary Hernandez here, and welcome to King Self-Defense with Master Gary Hernandez. Today, I want to talk a little bit about footwork. Now, footwork is very important when it comes to self-defense. It is. Now, if you have to use your cane for momentum, you have a disability, you have to use it for balance, I want to show you a way that you can help yourself move a little bit better especially if you have to kind of try to move as quickly as you can, left, right, forward, backwards, or at an angle. Because in your directions of movement and self-defense, it can be forward, it can be backward, it could be left, right, diagonal, forward, and diagonal backwards. So you have a lot of different directions you may have to go in a pinch. Now, if you don't have to use your cane for mobility, you want to practice as you step, moving and having your cane up. One of the reasons you want to be able to step and move, because if you're doing a block, you don't want to stand still sometimes and just take a power block. And you, and you may have to step back and get into a good, decent stance to block somebody with some power. If you've got a large individual stepping forward, bearing down with a punch, you know, you don't want to sit here and try to block it this way or some kind of block where your body's still here. You want to try to get this off center line so you don't get barreled through. So, you, you know, and again, if you don't need to use the, the cane for mobility or balance and you can move on your own pretty good, then you can step and you can block and you can counter. <clears throat> but let's say I have to use my cane, you know, to get some movement. Well, one of the things you can do, and a lot, I've seen a lot of people, you know, they use their cane for balance. Now, they have their cane and they put support weight down on it, and then they move. You know, like they're walking, they move, and they're bringing their cane. And that's, and that was, that's great. It helps them move and, and go forward, backwards, left, right. But if you got to pick it up a little bit, there's a way to do that just to make, give you a little bit more of a, a little more speed. One of them is I'm going to use it to propel me. Now, I'm going to take my cane. Let's say I need to go to my left. I'm going to angle it a bit. So, and instead of putting weight down here and going like that and bringing my cane, I'm going to use my cane to help launch me. So I'm going to turn it a bit and I'm going to push downward still, but now I'm kind of angled and kind of launch me in this direction. Same thing if I'm going to go this way, I'm going to turn my cane slightly like that. Don't turn it too much to where it slips. We're going to talk about different um, environments in a minute. But I'm going to turn it, push off, and move. So I'm kind of like pushing and propelling myself. It's giving me kind of like a kickstart in that direction. I can even go backwards, turn it, push, and bring myself backwards. And I can even go forward by angling it forward a bit pushing and kind of pushing myself. So someone's getting ready to maybe start to throw a punch. I'll turn, push, and then bring my cane up. Same thing if I'm going to go this way. Instead of holding down to it, doing that and bringing it up, I'll angle a little bit and push off. So I'm pushing off my cane, getting me to move in different directions. Footwork's very important. So work that a bit. Have your cane here, push down, one, two, and bring it up. Angle it a bit, push, one, two, and bring it up. You can even push and then turn. You wanna turn around, you can simply put it here, push, and then turn your body. So practice that by angling it. Don't go too much. Understand, first thing you wanna do is check what kind of tip you have. <clears throat> Some canes have a standard tip. Some have a real small one. Some people have the ones with um, the three kind of on the, um, it's three different tips that are attached. So you may have different ones. Some have canes that have a swivel thing. So that might help you also. So check your cane out real well before you do that. Now, when you practice this technique, understand you got different kind of environments. <clears throat> Let's say we're inside. You have anything from carpet of different kinds, different thicknesses, to tiles, because you could be in the kitchen, bathroom and the tiles can get slippery you have more of a rougher tile a smoother tile um you could have even 
cement and concrete could be in your garage. So now you have a concrete based area. You also have <clears throat> outside environments. You have concrete, you have asphalt, you could be in dirt, sand, gravel, you could be on grass. All those environments out there can get wet and slippery. So you want to practice very carefully. When, you know, so when you're outside, you know, if you're in dirt and you push down, make sure that you're not going to slip or nothing. Same thing when you're on grass. So practice, definitely practice in different areas. Practice it on grass. Take your time, be careful. Practice it on concrete. Practice it on carpet, on tile. So take your time, work those techniques. Remember, cane is down. If I'm going to push off to my left, I angle it a bit, and boom, and then practice bringing it up. If I'm going to go to my right, I angle it a bit and push off. So it's like, like I said, it's kind of kickstarts me. I want to go backwards, boom. I want to go forward, boom. So practice that with your cane. Practice your footwork. Angle it, not too severe where it slips. So hopefully that helps. Footwork's important. Check your cane first, like I said. See what kind of tip you have. Work different in areas, different environments, and see how well you do. Take it slow, and then gradually pick it up a little bit. You know, you're gonna know your speed. You know, you know, you know your speed. You know your body's condition. You know what kind of health you're in. Take your time. So hopefully that helps. Gary Hernandez, and I will talk to you guys very soon. Thank you.